Pufferfish are basically the balloons of the ocean. And who doesn't love balloons that are covered in spikes and deadly poison? I'm Kindly Kian and welcome back to Feed and Grow Fish. As you guys probably already know, thanks to the As of 46 cheat menu, we have access to every single fish that is in the game, including fish that you can't normally play as. And one of the fish that I stumbled upon when I was looking through this menu is the puffer fish. I love puffer fish. They're so cool looking. They're also kind of terrifying. Like they're adorable, but incredibly deadly. So there's actually two different types of puffer fish in the game. There's this guy, the mamaka, and then there's also just the traditional, yeah, puffer fish. Why don't we try out the mamaka first? Uh, just see what this dude's all about. He looks like kind of like the Eeyore of puffer fish. He's just like, yeah, I can turn into a balloon. It's really spiky. Big deal. Anyways, let's play as him. Oh my gosh! Seriously? You're gonna- you're- I'm just mauled by a school of shark. Just immediately. Can we not let that happen again? Yes? No? Get out of there, man! Get- go! Go, Mamaka! Go! You are free! Oh my gosh, you're so fast. This dude's zippy. I will say, though, turning the Mamaka is not zippy. It's very slow. It's like I'm- I'm- turning around a semi truck. <laughs> Why does it take so long to turn? Like, I mean, he can zip so fast, but for some reason, he's just super slow to turn around. I kind of, I kind of hate it. It's very hard to maneuver when your fish is so slow to turn around. But here, let's, let's see how this guy does. I mean, oh no, no. Oh, oh, you see that though? You see that? It, he's got like instant defense system. He puffed up. He's puffed up. Up, killed the shark? I mean, here's the thing about puffer fish. Incredibly deadly. Like, the poison that is in puffer fish is insanely powerful. I looked it up before I started recording because I knew puffer fish were poisonous, but I didn't know, like, how poisonous. Stuff's called... The, the toxin that they produce is called tetrodotoxin. These are central nervous system toxins and are more deadly than cyanide. In severe intoxications, death can result from respiratory paralysis. These dudes don't mess around. And there are maniacs out there who actually eat puffer fish for fun. Like you have to perfectly cut it. I know there's like sushi chefs that will like perfectly remove the sections that have the poison on them, I don't think that's worth the risk. I mean, you're basically eating cyanide. I mean, you're basically eating a poison that's worse than cyanide if they mess up. No thanks! Okay, Mamaka is getting absolutely destroyed. Oh, that is also a great white shark just hanging out behind me. So you know what? It's been fun playing as uh, the, <laughs> the Eeyore. I love that I can just puff up on the fly. Uh, it was fun playing as the Eeyore of the Pufferfish family, but let's try out just the regular Pufferfish. Gosh, stop eating me! Say hello to the happiest little killer fish. <laughs> Look at him. He's so happy and so cute. I love that he's got like little like buck teeth. It's super cute. Don't mess with this dude though. Don't, don't do it, Ichthyosaurus. Don't do it. Don't do it. You went and did it. Why do I keep getting spawned next to all these deadly predators? Okay, you know what? I just need to zip my way out of here. Um, I, I, Notable though. Pufferfish, way better at turning. Not as fast though. He, he can't zip as fast as the Mamaka, but that's okay. I will take handling over speed, but the time has come. Now that I am the, the most adorable deadly fish, um, let's turn this guy into just a massive monster of destruction. Uh, also, what? That's a lizard. I feel like we've played as this thing before, but I don't think I've ever seen it swimming around like that. There's another one. Wow, okay, that's kind of crazy. I didn't know that those lizard guys hang out around here. Let's go find some good stuff to eat and try not to get eaten. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Styxosaurus. Dude, okay, I'm gonna watch this battle because I feel like uh, Styxosaurus is gonna win, but he's probably gonna leave it behind like a whole bunch of delicious morsels of meat and XP, and I'm so okay with that. Okay, this is the most depressing battle I think I've ever seen. Neither one of them are actually like getting hits on each other. 
Okay, sticks to source. He's doing it. He's doing it. Oh, wait. No, no. Oh, how the tables have turned. Okay, I'm a little, I'm a little scared. I'm, I'm actually a lot. Uh, okay, I should not be doing this. I'm leaving. I am just an adorable little puffer fish with deadly neurotoxin. Don't mess with me. Look at me. Puff. I'll puff. Whoa! Take that, ocean. I ran into a wall. Let's not talk about that. So I guess in the game, the puffer fish has the special ability of, of puffing up when he gets attacked. It does it automatically. I don't know if it actually does damage to the fish that's attacking us, but I sure hope it does. Seems like a kind of wasted opportunity if you get all puffed up for no reason. I'm going to eat these little starry bits ocean XP and... Hope that I can get to level two soon. You know what we need is starfish. What happened to all the starfish around you? Oh, I think I see a starfish. There it is. Delicious. How does his biting power? Okay, 0.6. Not that impressive. What happens if I puff up though? It doesn't, it doesn't do anything. It does not change the effectiveness of my bite. It also doesn't affect the starfish, but to be fair, uh, starfish is not biting me. Level two, let's go. Oh my gosh, so powerful. So maybe the poison and the puffy power of the puffer fish is only truly on display when, when a fish attacks us. I couldn't tell uh, with the mamaka when we got attacked by those sharks because it all happened so fast. <laughs> It was like 10 of them on me in an instant. How am I supposed to fight that? But what we could also do once we get a little bit bigger is maybe what we can try attacking, you know, a smaller fish that won't eat us uh, while we're puffed up and see if that has any kind of impact the damage that we do or, or maybe it like paralyzes the fish. Because I know there's that crazy scorpion shrimp. I don't I don't know what he's called. Maybe it is scorpion shrimp, uh, but he's got like the stinger on his back and you can use that in the game and it totally paralyzes whatever you're attacking. In fact, that dude ends up being like one of the most powerful creatures in the game because you can take on fish that are way bigger than you because you just keep stunning them. They just get completely paralyzed. So I don't know if maybe the puffer fish works the same way. That would be super cool and would make me feel way cooler about my situation. But in the meantime, I'm just going to be a cute little puff fish. And every once in a while, I'm going to do this. Why? Because I can. I mean, who doesn't want to puff if you're a puffer fish? I got to say, I'm having a great time as a puffer fish. Very, very chill now that we found a nice kind of secluded area to eat our starfish and sea urchin. I am a little concerned <laughs> that something is going to sneak up on me. I think actually we're in an area where, oh, okay, you're not that scary. You're just big. But I think we are in an area where Prognathodon likes to hang out, which is way scarier than that armored dude that just swam over us. So we'll just uh we'll just keep that in mind. Level five. Let's go. <gasps> oh <sighs> the armored guy again. He he scared me. He definitely gave me the spooks. But he's he's a simple-minded creature. He just kind of swims around in small fish. Uh, although he is kind of coming towards me, and I don't like that. So I'm just going to get out of the way. Leave me alone to my life, and I'll leave you alone to yours until I'm big enough to eat you. And then I will turn you into delicious XP. More starfish, please. Where have all the starfish gone? Starfish? No starfish. It's extremely disappointing. Oh, there's got to be some good stuff over here. Uh, that's a hammerhead shark. Okay, you know what? No. No, too ambitious. I was thinking about going for it, giving him the puffer action. I don't think we're ready for it. Maybe like two or three more levels. Oh gosh, something something has targeted me. What was that? Why did I get the noise? Why did I get the scary noise? Okay, now I'm confused. Let's just eat some starfish. Try not to worry about the world around you that is constantly trying to eat you and destroy you. Level six, we're making progress. The question is, am I big enough to take on a hammerhead shark? And I kind of highly doubt that. But if the puffer poison works the way that I hope it does, totally take on a hammerhead shark. I bet we could take on even bigger fish. But I'm scared. I've made all this beautiful progress and I'm adorable. Why would I sacrifice all of that just because I can't be a little bit more patient, get a little bit bigger, but I am having a hard time finding starfish. Well, no, you know what? Actually, we found a sweet spot. Look at that. Three starfish just hanging out right here. I love it. Give me all that XP. I don't know why, but it feels like some fish tend to level up faster than other fish. I put quite a few hours into this game, but there are certain fish that I absolutely struggled for like hours trying to level up but like this dude I feel like this dude's leveling up so fast I kind of feel like I'm cheating but I assure you I'm not I could but I'm not at least not yet we should try puff up get him uh, okay I just annihilated him in one bite 
which is awesome, but didn't really prove anything with my puffy power. So I don't know if that helps us. We haven't really learned anything, but you know what? We are very, very close to level eight. Let's go for level eight and then let's head back to where those hammerhead sharks are. This could be a very dumb decision, but I gotta know for science. And for all puffer fish kind out there, this one goes out to you. Shout out to all the puffer fish watching right now. Okay, we found our target. There he is, the hammerhead shark. We get him, we puff up. Oh, dude, I just bumped into him and he took damage. Oh my gosh, what? That is amazing. Okay, I mean, the knockback is kind of lame, but uh, that hammerhead shark just got destroyed. Okay, yeah, pufferfish equals awesome. I don't even know if the hammerhead shark is dead. He might be, he's definitely dead now. <laughs> I was gonna say he might be paralyzed uh, is what I was is what I was going to say, but now I'm getting attacked by this mahi-mahi. Get out of here, dude. That's my lunch. Don't eat my lunch. How dare you? I just, I just puffed him. I puffed him. Dude, pufferfish is OP. I think we have determined that pufferfish is uh, super powerful and I love it. Don't mess with this face. <laughs> Okay, um, I think the time has come to take on some slightly bigger, maybe slightly scarier prey. I don't know what that Mahi Mahi was thinking. He watched me take on that hammerhead shark and not even break a sweat. And then he came over here, tried to mess with my lunch. How dare you? Look at these spikes. Do you know how much hair gel I had to use to make these spikes look this way? Basically putting glue in there. There's that uh, scorpion shrimp that I was talking about. Should we do neurotoxin versus neurotoxin? I think we need to try. So I'm gonna puff up and I'm gonna get him. Oh, puffer fish wins. Kind of, maybe. <gasps> oh my <laughs> I think I got a little too big for my britches. Uh, Megalodon, put me in my place. Really? You, you had to sneak up on me like that? A little ninja Megalodon. Sneak attack. But on the bright side, now we know that Pufferfish is just insanely awesome. He definitely poisons his prey when he's puffed up. He also poisons them when they, uh, when they attack him. Now, that wasn't enough to stop Megalodon, but we'll get there. Believe you me, we will get there. Okay, so we were level 11 when we got eaten by the Megalodon, so I'm working on getting back to level 11. I am a little scared though. There was a great white shark around here and I don't think I'm ready to take on a great white shark. Based on my experience with Megalodon, at level six, I don't think a great white shark is gonna work out very well for us. Ooh, let's get that eel. Don't you run from me. How dare you? Paralyzed. I. It is kind of goofy though, because when I attack, things uh, when I'm puffed up, it knocks me back, which is kind of annoying, but also, I mean, I'm an awesome puffer fish, so it's also very cool. Oh gosh, what was that? Scary shadow? Uh, yeah, there's a great white shark over there. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. Oh, <gasps> look at this giant slab of meat. Stixasaurus, you just left this? Eat me. I'm very dangerous. Oh, okay, he's here, but you know what? I'm here too, and I might, I might be able to, I might be able to work this out. Stixasaurus doesn't know how to drive his own neck. He's very bad at driving. Too much neck. <sighs> I'm scared. Something's something's after me. No, oh, it's Stixasaurus. Okay. Okay. You know what? Should we try and take on Stixasaurus? We're level 13 now because of all that meat that he left behind. I kind of want to try. Where'd he go? Okay. You know what? I'm leaving. I've decided that I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> now I understand why Stixasaurus left. <laughs> why did you gotta do me dirty like that? Why? Oh, <laughs> I'm telling you, puffer fish, very, very strong. I'm having a rough go though. All right, I spawned in the most terrifying area ever. There's just so much stuff happening next to me. I'm so scared. Just get out of there. The ocean is not being nice to poor little puffer fish today. How can you be so mean to a face so adorable? He's so happy. Okay, so our record so far is level 13. We got to get back there. I'm just going to eat starfish, live my puffer fish life until I can get back to level 13. And then like, I feel like as long as I avoid the really big sharks, I should be okay. And I should be able to level up pretty well. It's just those, it's just those stinky great white sharks and megalodons. No respect. What is that? Oh, megalodon. He's just vacuuming up all that delicious XP. Okay. We're going to go the opposite direction. That's my, my master plan. Now, a lot of times our strategy 
strategy is to get to a point where we're strong enough to take on the big whale in the Arctic section. And then that dude starts giving us insane XP. So once we can take out that guy, we're good. And then the big boys better watch out because Pufferfish is in town and he's mad. I mean, look at that face, terrifying. So that's my plan. Get to the point where I can take on the big whale in the Arctic section. So what level do I have to get to? I have no idea. Also, someone just left this meat here. I'm gonna eat it. That's gonna be a decent amount of XP. Hopefully they don't come back. Whoever did this, don't come back. Level 11, don't mind if I do. Okay, we've made it back to level 13. We are in kind of a scary area because um, Prognathodon hangs out around here. Also, Xyphactinus, yeah, there he is. Okay, um, but we could go after whale sharks. I am a little scared of the whale shark, not because they bite hard, but because they can just eat you whole sometimes if you're not big enough. Oh, look at all this. Thank you, Stixosaurus. I'm just gonna help myself to this wonderful banquet that you've left for us. Thank you. I think I could take out a Stixosaurus, honestly. Oh gosh, something's here. Something's here that can eat me. I heard the sound and I'm scared. Sometimes the sound is a lie though. Oh my goodness, look at all this delicious meat. Oh, eat it, eat it all, eat it all. Look at all that, it's a buffet. Oh yes, 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 yes. Level 23, level 24. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have no idea why this was just left here, but I'll take it. Hello, Stixosaurus. Are we friends? We're definitely friends, right? You and me, best of pals. Where are you going? You're not stunned. Why aren't you stunned? Maybe I didn't bite him quickly enough while I was puffed up. Let's puff up. Oh, I puffed him. I puffed him. Oh, don't mind if I do. Eat it all. Eat up all that XP. Okay, now we're making some serious progress. Oh, this is, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful situation. I think that because I'm like puffed up, it's breaking down the meat into like really, really small bits, which is kind of weird. Also, I'm not puffed up right now. So why am I doing damage just on contact? Contact. That's kind of crazy. Either way, I'm gonna eat all of this meat and become the most powerful fish in the ocean and no one's gonna stop me. Who wants some neurotoxin? You want some neurotoxin? Oh my gosh, he just exploded into a million little bits. <laughs> Pufferfish, OP, can confirm. I do kind of hate though that like the little bits of, of XP take so long to eat up. It's taking forever. But my life as a pufferfish has basically gone from zero to a hundred in just like a few minutes. Finding those leftover morsels of meat just hanging out there was an incredible get and makes me very happy. Where are you going, Styx? Where are you going? Don't run from me. Okay, you know what? You can run from me, that's fine. It's definitely time to head to the Arctic zone and say hello to big old Arctic whale. I'm also at the point where I feel very, very slow and it's because I'm so and it's because I am massive and I can make myself massive er. I mean, look at that. That's a very big puffer fish. Now I'm not gonna lie, Arctic whale does scare me because he bites real hard. So my only concern is that if he bites us, we'll die instantly. I don't know how hard his bite is. We have 1200 uh, health. What was that? For the whale shark? I don't have to fear a whale shark. I eat whale sharks for breakfast. Like literally, I just ate a whale shark. We'll assume it's the morning right now. I should just eat whale sharks. <laughs> That was a ton of XP for basically zero effort, but also I kind of want a challenge. I mean, I'm a cute little puffer fish with very poisonous spikes. Why not put them to use? There he is. I see him off in the distance. This is a little scary. I might be jumping the gun here. Where did my whale friend go? I see bits of meat getting eaten by belugas. The belugas eat him? What is happening? Oh, there he is. He's so sneaky. How'd you do that? He, he sees me, but I also see him. I'm locked on target, puff. Oh! <gasps> okay, okay, computer. Computer, we're gonna get through this together. Holy cow. Um, yeah, it got real chunky there because all the bits of, of meat just got turned into, into mincemeat. Basically made ground beef here. Um, hello, penguin. Yeah, just eat all the XP that I worked very hard on. So that is one of the downsides to the very awesome puffer fish is that because we do contact damage when we're puffed up, it turns all of the meat into these little itty bitty bits, which scares me because I feel like I might crash the game 
if I do that too much. I mean, you saw what happened. It was chunking. But also, did you see how fast we destroyed giant whale guy? It wasn't even a contest. He immediately got paralyzed and then he was dead. It happened in an instant. So yeah, like I said, uh, Pufferfish, a little overpowered and I love it. Now, where is my whale friend? <laughs> He's got to respawn. I don't know where he respawned. There he is. There he is. So I'm actually going to avoid using my puffer puffiness, at least when I'm fighting this guy, because I'm scared it's going to blow up my computer. I really just don't want to crash the game and have to start over. Now, if he attacks me, I'm going to automatically get him. <laughs> I just paralyzed him. Uh, oh, it's doing it. Yeah. So when I get attacked, I automatically uh, puff up and then I do the contact damage and then it, it becomes a whole thing. It, it's, you, you, get, you guys get it, right? Yeah, I get it. Also, like I'm not doing that much damage when I don't use my puffer. I kind of have to puff up. It's a two edged sword. Oh my gosh. Look at all that XP. There's just so much. <laughs> Oh, he bit me. He bit me and I puffed up and now my computer is very sad. <laughs> I need to stop. No, don't attack me, man. You're you're going to crash the game. He doesn't understand. The puffer fish is too powerful. Okay, okay, we're taking him down. We're taking him down. We're not puffing, which is good. That's important. Uh, but we have so much XP, so many little itty bitty bits of XP. Why you got to do that, man? Why? You're only hurting yourself and also, oh my gosh. Oh, this is a fun picture book. This is neat. <laughs> Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. He did it. He did it. He, he made me puff up. You made me do it. I need to unpuff. Just let me unpuff. Please leave this area. I, I want all this XP, but this dude is just making it worse and worse. Oh my goodness. Okay, we need to leave. We need to leave. The computer's gonna die. The game's gonna crash. I guarantee it. I gotta get out of here. Please let me go. Oh my goodness. Look at this what we've left behind. That's so much X. That would probably take me to level 100 if I was able to eat it all, but I can't. And so now what's gonna happen, big old Arctic whale is probably gonna eat all that XP and become huge. Hopefully he doesn't come. The game is still chugging, but it's way better now that I've left that area. Oh, okay. Okay, we're good. Everything, awesome. Eat some whale sharks. That seems like a safe bet. Hello, whale sharks. I'm sorry to do this to you guys because you guys are like super cool and very friendly, but you're also like really good XP. So thank you. Okay, do we go after the like really big boys? I think we do. There's Prognathodon. He's just waiting. He's waiting for me. Puffer fish versus Prognathodon. Oh, this isn't even a contest. Look at how huge I am compared to him. I, I'm sorry to do this to you, man. If you bite me though, bad things are gonna happen to you and me. It's bad for all of us. Don't bite me. Okay. Prognathodon, not really a problem. Stixosaurus, can I eat you whole? No, I can't eat you whole. That's okay, because I can just bite you once and you're dead. Now that is the happiest giant puffer fish I think I've ever seen. Megalodon, where are you, buddy? This is how it always goes, isn't it? Oh, there he is. There he is. He is almost guaranteed to bite me. So I am a little bit worried, but there's not much we can do about it. Megalodon's gonna do what Megalodon does and that's bite. So uh, here we go. Bring it on, pal. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Wow. Um, awesome. I think it's safe to say that the puffer fish is one of, if not the strongest fish in feed and grow fish. Who would have thought this little guy could cause such a ruckus? <laughs> I didn't even, he just attacked me and died. The contact damage is too powerful. I think the best lesson that I gain from all of this is that people who eat these things are insane and kind of dumb. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.